Hey everybody, Joe here, and today I'm really excited to introduce you to the new feed stack. So feeds allows you to integrate external data into your websites. Now that data can be all kinds of different standard web formats, CSV, RSS, JSON, and databases. And I'm sure we'll have even more data add-on packs coming in the future. So once you get that data, we can then take that and apply it to a templated layout so that we can actually dynamically create content based on that data directly on our web pages. Let's have a look. So let's have a look at the feeds demo. So here at the first demo, we have it a full online store that's fully functional. Now this particular online store is built straight from a CSV file. However, the data source doesn't really matter because the data can be applied to your layout. Here we're defining, as you see, special colors. We're bringing in icons. We have buy now buttons. We have data about each product. The next demo is we have a menu. This is gonna be a very popular use case for feeds. The ability to create a menu straight from an external data source. Here we have an entire full-blown gallery built directly from a CSV file. And lastly, here's a great layout that you can use for an employee directory, a team directory, things of that nature. Now, really, these layouts just scratch the surface of what you can really do with feeds. Essentially, you can supply any data. It doesn't matter what. And you can imagine any layout you want, and you can build it and just basically apply that data. Each record from the data source will get applied to the template and replicated on the page. Let's dive into Rapiver and see how easy it is to use. So let's quickly have a look at that online store. Here I'm supplying a feed. It doesn't really matter. In this case, I'm using a CSV data, but it could really be from anything. It could be JSON, it could be from a database. It's really, it really doesn't matter because feeds take care of taking the data and standardizing it in a way so that it can apply that data to the layout that you build. So in this particular layout, uh, I am building out a block grid. So here I am using the foundation six block grid. And now while feeds doesn't directly have anything special to do with foundation, the way foundation is built, it really is flexible and allows you to really build complex layouts with feeds very easily. It's just the way that foundation is architected that it works really, really well with feeds. However, you can use it with any other stack out there. Um, it just might got, get the flexibility and the power that the foundation six layout stacks give you. Okay, so here I have a block grid and then inside there I, I added a feeds. And essentially feeds will for every item inside that CSV file or for every item in that data, it's going to replicate this block grid cell. So in this case, I had nine different online store items. And what it's gonna do is gonna create a cell in my block grid for each and every item. So here I have my block grid cell. Here I have a CSS box that actually puts in the color here we use these easy to use macros to inject the data. So here I have the name, the summary. Inside this button, we have the buy now button or the link to buy now to add it to the cart. In here, the picture, we have the URL to the image. For more details, check out our templates video. But for right now, just so you can see, I just built this with stacks. And feeds is taking my data and it's applying that data and gonna replicate it for every record in my layout. It's very cool. So hopefully that gives you a good glimpse of what feeds can do for you. And I didn't even touch on the filtering that feeds can do, the sorting, the limiting of the data. So if you only wanna show a certain number of records, you can filter based on dynamically from the URL as well, which really gives you a powerful, very powerful component by dynamically filtering a feeds grid by passing data to the URL. This kind of gives you, if you're familiar with total CMS blog list, the ability to filter your blog list and the ability to have like a blog post page by passing a permalink or an ID or something 
unique about a particular piece of record to create that post page, right? So feeds is super powerful. It can integrate with pretty much any data source out there that is standard on the web. And I'm really excited to see what you're gonna build with it. Please make sure that you share what you're doing on the community so we can all see and learn and grow with each other. So take care, have a wonderful day, enjoy feeds, and go out there and make something great.